Good afternoon, Mayor Nuremberg, members of the City Council, and everyone here today. My name is Wade Dillon. Up until September and for the last eight years, I am proud to say that I worked at the Alamo as a tour guide and supervisor until deciding to pursue a career in illustration. Over those eight years, I worked through every transition that has taken place at the Alamo. During my time at the Alamo, I worked with the education and visitor services departments to engage with guests daily about the history of the Alamo in San Antonio. Meanwhile, dealing with screaming street preachers, varieties of protests, street performers, vendors, and citywide events. I have witnessed countless Segway and scooter accidents, including one possible fatality on Alamo and Houston Street. And there were times when either myself or my fellow coworkers gave tours on the plaza while all of that was taking place. And each of us at one time or another mentioned how one day we would want to see Alamo Plaza in a peaceful setting where visitors could walk the grounds freely and truly reflect not only what occurred in 1836, but the last 300 years of San Antonio and Texas history. You have the remarkable historic opportunity to ensure that the Alamo is respected forever. By closing the streets that delineate the battlefield, you open up the space not only for continued interpretation of the Texas Revolution, but of the Coahuila Tecans, of the Canary Islanders, the soldiers of Alamo de Paras, the enslaved people who were here, the various military occupations, as well as the overall cultural impact this plaza has had. Acquiring a space bigger than the long barrack, such as the Crockett Block, to interpret those stories is beneficial in telling the history of the Alamo and that of San Antonio. The Alamo has and will always remain a lifelong passion of mine. I have it tattooed on my arm. Uh, my father and I renovated uh, his childhood home with the iconic bell-shaped parapet. It's where I met and proposed to my wife. The Alamo means something different to everyone, and that is what drives nearly two million visitors a year to visit this place, to soak in the unique sights, the sounds, the history, unlike anywhere else. Not to purchase snow cones, dodge traffic, be berated by street preachers, or purchase wax hands. I remember the Alamo because of the multitudes of people who came before me and their stories, all of whom deserve to be told, now more than ever, the city of San Antonio has the chance to prove while we are deep in the heart of Texas because the heart of Texas is right here. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Dillon.